Hi, everyone, and welcome to episode 82 of Like, Share, Follow. And this time I have the amazing Nikita Kuenz, who is a TV sales coordinator at Nine. So, welcome, Nikita. How are you going? I'm so good. Thank you so much for inviting me. I'm very excited to be here. Well, thanks for being on the show. And so you finished your last semester at the University of the Sunshine Coast it was at the end of last year. And so tell yeah. me, what have you been doing since that time? Okay, so when I first graduated, I was working at David Jones. Um, I'd been there since like July last year. Um, and I was just working and I wasn't actively looking for a job. I was in that phase of being like too scared, the imposter syndrome, all of it was there. And I was like, I'm not ready. So I didn't look for a job at all. Um, but I actually got an email from my... Um, the previous marketing manager at Nine who I interned with last year. Um, and she had sent me an email saying they were looking for an executive assistant in the sales department. And I was like, oh, like I'll apply for that. It's fun. Like why not? Um, and especially because someone so high up has sent it to you, like it would be rude not to apply. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, I applied for that. And I actually got a call from my now boss for a completely different role, which I now work in. Um, and he kind of sold me that role. And yeah, it was just really exciting. And it was, there was a lot of growth in the particular role that I'm in now. Um, so yeah, it was really exciting. And I definitely went for that. I actually um, did my interview in the car after the end oh, of wow. my day. Yeah. <laughs> I did a David Jones shift and I was like running to my car and I literally did my interview on Zoom in the car. And like when I first started, I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. Like, you know, I just finished a shift. Like I had to, you know, just run in. And I'm like, that's fine. Like that's COVID times. Like this is just how it's life like is. normal now, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's just a funny memory to like look back on and know that I did my interview like sitting in a car. Yeah. Because <laughs> I never, like if we weren't in these times, I never would have done that. Like I would have walked in like. Oh, like, yeah. Like, so professional. But yeah, it's just really funny. Um, and then, yeah, 20 minutes after my interview, I got a call saying that they would like to hire me. So oh, that was very nice. exciting. That's amazing. And so it yeah. just shows you, isn't it, like just how valuable internships can be, not only in gaining yeah. experience, but just, you know, getting letting people know who you are and what your skills are. Um, yeah. So, that, you know, if there's nothing for you at the time, they, they'll think of you when there, there is. Yeah. And, yeah, definitely it was so helpful. Like that's very recommended. I am so glad that I did it. It was a completely different role, like I said, but, yeah, still – remembering the name, being around, seeing all the people. Like um, we worked from home for the first like six weeks when we started. Um, and when I went in office, I went upstairs to get like my first coffee at our cafe and the lady remembered me from the internship. And I was yeah, like, oh, wow. Okay. So nice. So you <laughs> made a great impression. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, and so tell me, what does your role now involve? So what, um, what does the sales coordinator do? Yes. So I'm a TV sales coordinator. So I work with a TV sales exec um, really closely. We work like on the same clients um, and we book in the ads into like channel nine and go gem like all of them. Um, yep. And then we manage that day to day. So day to day, I check that it's like tracking correctly. I do any top ups. Sometimes they'll like change the specific show they're in if something else is airing that they don't want to be like advertised with. So we kind of like adjust that around. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's my specific role. Excellent. And so what do you think set you apart from other graduates who went for that role? If, if anyone did, but what, what do you think it was about you that they said, we want Nikita? I definitely think it was interning. Um, I just think it really helps you get your foot in the door, especially when it's at the company. Like if you know a company you want to work for, um, it's really good to just like intern there, get in the door, just walk around, like learn people's names, kind of just be a lot more like out there and just like chat, try to like, you've got to learn a lot. And I think that's what's also important um, yeah. is just being so open that you are learning. Like I asked so many questions when I first started this job and even in the interviews, like I used to never ask questions in interviews and like for this job, I had like so many questions and they were like, that shows how passionate you are, like asking these questions and wanting to know exactly what the role is and what you'll be doing every day. Um, and then also probably I'd like to say just being me interviewing in my car. I feel like that helps too. Just like, yeah, I spoke about like my favorite hobbies and I showed them like a piece of the real me. And 
at my desk in the office, I actually have like a little crystal on the desk, yeah. um, which I like never would have done, but I take like all of my, my whole life with me because yeah. I, work there, so I may as well be comfortable. Absolutely. But yeah, I would say, yeah, just be yourself and also just try to really put yourself out there because it yeah. will help 100%. Absolutely. And um, what, what's been some of the best career advice that you've been given? Um, so we have an organisation for the media industry called NGEN, and it's for anyone in the media industry who has been working there for less than five years because there's quite a bit of burnout. So they try to, like, encourage you. They do fun activities. And we did dodgeball the other day. Like, they try to just make it a good, like, it's a, it's really fun. It's like a networking but also, like, a growth area where you can just kind of chat with everyone that works in the industry. Yeah. Um, and their quote is, we are not here to save lives. We're here to change lives. Just like I'm nice. Nice. <laughs> um, because it reminds you like not to stress so much over like the day to day, like to just yeah. when work finishes, you can close your laptop and you can like switch off for the night. But yeah. it's still in the latter part of the quote it reminds you to be like super passionate and excited and to have the drive to enjoy what you're doing. And yeah, yeah. I love it. And so reflecting now on your university experience, what have, because because as you said, like what you're working in now is slightly, uh, you know, to the side of what you study, but uh, I'm sure there's still a lot of elements and things that you've learned that are quite transferable um, in, in terms of where you are. But what were some of the, what, what you found the, um, I guess, the, the most beneficial things that you've learned at university that have, are helping you in your current role? Yeah, definitely. Um, my role is obviously slightly different to what I learned, but there's so many things. Um, studying communication, obviously, is so like, I just find it so crucial to my specific role. There's a lot of like presenting and a lot of like talking, like client facing. There's a lot of like phone calls you've got to be open to just prepared for. Um, and so I feel like that's really helpful. Um, and then uni in general, teamwork, collaborating, so important um you always think in uni that it's like the worst time when it comes around to it but it's literally like that is life like you have to collaborate and work with people all the time and yep. sometimes it might not be people you mess with like mesh with I'm really lucky because I like love everyone that I work with and my team's really good um but I actually um nine for people who work in sales at nine they have a competition called hackathon um, and you work in teams to create a new product or service for nine and then they yeah. pick like best of the best and they use it. And so I've just signed cool. up for that. So I'll see how I go with lots of different people at nine yeah. in Australia, but I'm sure all of that help from uni will get me there. <laughs> Sounds like fun. And, yeah, I know, I know, I know group, group work is challenging, but you're right. Like if there aren't many um, many jobs or professions where you don't have to work with people. No, <laughs> so. no, definitely. No, it is. Yeah, you definitely need that. And yeah, like presenting is a major part of the industry I'm in. Um, and you need just, yeah, I cannot thank it enough for all of those presentations. It really helps. <laughs> um, and I've definitely learned the one thing is that if you're confident in what you're speaking about, yeah, it just makes it so much better. You just got to keep learning and just make sure that you know exactly what you're talking about and you can just talk yeah. rather than having to like read. I remember at uni, I'd like read this whole script and try to memorize yeah. it. But if you don't know what you're talking about, it's not going to help. <laughs> that is very true. That is very true. <laughs> and um, on the flip side of that, what had been some skills or knowledge that uh, you wish you'd learned at university that you've really needed now in your current role? Um, yes. So I feel like this is quite specific to my role, but if it wasn't unique, it could be specific to more people as well. Um, I feel like it's just, we focus a lot, which is so helpful on like the smaller businesses and agencies and everything that goes on in like the smaller based businesses. And it kind of, I feel personally, and from other people I've spoken to, it kind of puts like a fear in you that you think these big companies aren't something you can ever work for or you mm -hmm. can like get into in an entry level position. But yeah. I'm living proof that it is possible and there's so many entry-level positions at these big companies that they love to just take someone who's just graduated and teach you all the ropes and show you all these things and there's so much growth you can do and there's like the media owners, which is us, and there's media agencies that there's so many areas that you can get into and I just think, yeah, it kind of puts, I had like the fear that it just seems too big to even think about getting into but, yeah, yeah it's so easy and it's really possible. Yeah, and I, I totally agree with that. And um, I mean, my my first job out of uni was at um, ABC TV. So yeah, uh, yeah. So it's it definitely is possible even even back then. So yeah, um, 
yeah so I guess I don't know maybe maybe that could be more of a like for internships like how did you get your internship um, when you were at uni um yeah so I had done like I did a lot of networking um second year of uni um Mm -hmm. and I had gone to like these different networking events and I actually met um the marketing manager and then we had like this funny it's always such a small world we had like this funny story of how we like connected and how we all like knew each other um so yeah I actually that was probably a year before my internship and then I reached out to her for the internship and she had said yeah so I think just relationships and just excellent and so if you don't mind me asking what networking event was that they must have some pretty um kind of remember um Brisbane or Sunshine Coast it was definitely Brisbane. Um, I yeah. think it was it was one of the women in business ones. I just can't okay. remember exactly what one it was, but yeah, it was all women. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was really good. Um, yeah. I used to go to the Korea ones a lot for PR. They are yeah. incredible. Yep, I loved those. Um, so that's the thing, isn't it? It's about really, you know, not waiting for things to come to you. Yeah. It's about going out and meeting people, and everything that happens comes through your your connections. So. You know, there there are so many jobs that aren't advertised and um, it's just about meeting people and, and building those relationships. Yeah, I think actually um, on that point, that is very true. Like a lot of these bigger jobs aren't advertised in a lot of places where you'd look. Like my role was on LinkedIn, but it wasn't so publicly posted because they are quite specific about who they take in and stuff. But there's actually yep. a lot of websites you can go on for those companies to find yep. those entry-level positions. Yeah. And I think even um, there are Facebook groups too for like people working in the television yes. industry um, that, yeah, that and jobs are posted in there all the time. Yeah. Yeah, you just kind of got to get out there and look around for it. Um, but, yeah, I've got like a few little people that I follow and groups that I'm in. So if anyone wants to know, I've definitely got those. Excellent. Well, I'm sure they'll get in contact So <laughs> with you. And so my question to you now is that um, though you're not working directly in social media because you you won an award for social media a national award didn't you when you yes i did i did the social media marketing (laughs) award yeah so best student campaign yes that was that was so good i loved that yeah so clearly you still have an interest in social media even though you're not working directly in it but um what because it changes all the time as we know what as what's something that you've learned in the last couple of weeks that you found interesting or um, just a, it could be a tool or a platform change that you'd like to share with us. Um, so I found out that I was actually in like the testing round of the new layout for Instagram. Oh, cool. And I had it for like, it was probably two weeks ago now and I had it for like three days. Yeah. And I remember going on Instagram and being like, what has happened? Like, why does it look so <laughs> Did different? Did you like it? it? No, I mean, <laughs> I don't love it. I don't love it. It's like, it's gone back to normal now, which is great, but it's, yeah like the reels homepage and I just I don't ah. like that. Um, because you can't read like the caption like you have to fully open it to read the caption yeah. like on reels so and I just like scroll as effectively no. as you normally and would. it will literally everything will take up the whole page so if it's like a square photo they add a background and it's yeah, like right. when you scroll it just focuses on one thing and so what happens to stories then like because you can you because normally stories they, are at the top yes they do still so when you open it stories are still at the top but when you scroll okay. to the first post it takes up the screen yeah okay and then yeah you keep scrolling but and they also focused a lot on video content obviously yeah yeah <laughs> their favorite thing <laughs> well, and they sort of said that like the ceo came out last yeah. year and said it's going to really turn into a more video um focused app so more yeah. than photos so they're clearly yeah. moving in that direction yeah definitely it wasn't like terrible like i'm sure when it happens i'll get used to it but it was just yeah. the caption and the comments like you had to go fully in to see comments as well yeah. I just felt like it was a different way to like interact with people. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's interesting, like that the, they're sort of changing to be a bit more like TikTok, don't you think? Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> question to you now is so we've got like at, at the moment USC, it's week 12. So there'll be some students who will be um, finishing this semester. Yes. So for those emerging professionals who are still studying or who are finishing, what advice would you give to them on that you haven't given already uh, on how to succeed in their career? Um, definitely building relationships. And that's probably like the whole public relations, like relationship management side of me, like coming out. But honestly, <laughs> relationships are so important. And in saying that, like once you have a role, 
it is so important to aim to have a good relationship with your manager. It honestly yeah. makes the world of difference. Like it can feel scary to go from like employer to employee relationship, but yeah. like I have a great relationship with all of like my managers and like my sales exec is like my best friend basically. <laughs> like it's so yeah. good and it can help when you're ready to grow. You've got like that connection, someone to talk about, which is something we were talking about before we came on. Like you've got someone who can kind of help you get to where you want to go because you've discussed about different positions you want to be in or different areas that you want to work with. And yeah, just like day to day, if you're getting overwhelmed or stressed, it's so nice to have people that you can like just turn to and ask questions and not feel like there's no relationship that you can have with them. I just think it's really important. Yeah. Oh, totally. And even, you know, having good relationships with everyone that you deal with within your yeah. organisation and externally, it just makes it so much easier, particularly when sometimes you need, like if you've got, you know, really good relationships and you need some a, a favour or you need something done quickly or faster than usual, people are more likely to help you than if they, um, they don't really know you and you're a bit standoffish. So, so true. Definitely. Like um, we have obviously I have really good relationships with the agencies that we work with and it just makes like the world of difference. If you can just like, if you have that person that you can just call and be like, Hey, I just need like a quick favor. Um, yeah. Like our commerce team, I try to be like their best friend. I had um one girl who's now left commerce. I used to send her like so many emojis and be like, can you pretty please help me? Like I hope you had a magical day. And then like, she'd always like come back and get it done. Like, <laughs> extra nice. Whereas some people would be like, can you please do this? And she's like, Oh, I'm kind of busy. And I'm like, no, you've got to be like really nice. I'm like, you know, you got to give them something in return. Absolutely. So, and do you think the core of that, like, just say, um, because if you're not used to, if you're quite introverted, you, yeah. and networking just puts the fear of whatever into you. Um, yeah. How do you get comfortable with sort of striking up conversations with people you don't know, particularly in a professional context? Yes. Um, so I went to a lot of networking events when I was like super fresh at uni, which looking back on now blows my mind. Like I can't believe that I was just like so out there because I was a very introverted person, but I would just yeah. put myself out there. Um, and one of like the best tips I've ever learned is to walk up to someone and comment on their outfit or their lipstick or their hair or just comment yeah. on something about them. Yeah. And it kind of just starts that conversation because you don't, well, for me personally, I feel like networking kind of has that stigma around it. Um, even though everyone's there for the same reason, but you yeah. just don't really want to walk up there and go like straight to business. So I always like yeah. to just build that relationship. If someone like our agencies, if someone says something about on the weekend, like they took their kids out, then I will try to like every Monday or every Friday, I'll be like, oh, have a great weekend with the kids. Like, how was your weekend with the kids? And you just yeah. try to like really yeah. pinpoint on that one thing. Um, my sales exec, she has two daughters and she mm -hmm. will, you like anyone who has kids, it's so easy to relate on that level. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's just really you just try to find something that you kind of like relate in or that you can talk about and just chat yeah. about that. It yeah, really helps. Yeah, great advice. And, and it gets easier, doesn't it? Oh, 100%. Yeah. Do it. Much easier. Yeah. Yes. yeah. And did you you went to the networking event we had at USC for the social media yes. course. Yes. At, um, yeah. So that's we're that's doing really that again good. this year. So oh, it's um, really good. Yeah. yeah. Good. Well, I, I, um, got, I got freelance work from um, one of the companies there, Creative Tools. I yeah, from work from there. Yeah, and that's the yeah, aim. Yeah. Was apart yeah. from getting networking experiences, um, to yeah, yeah, just try and get some freelance work for students. So definitely, it's yeah, it's really good, and just kind of like yeah, just having those chats. There's a lot of people I work with now, like a lot of my managers that are so extroverted and will just walk up and say like anything and just chat to people. <laughs> um, but I know like as like a semi introvert or just who overthinks everything, you just yeah. kind of pick one thing and just like chat and just chill they'll usually have something that they want to talk to you about um and another piece of advice which is funny because it used to be me people say um go to the person who's talking the most or with their hands because that means that they are like more extroverted or they have a lot to say whereas I used to do it just because I was nervous but a lot of people do say that that's usually like the best place to go because yeah they want to chat and they're like more open yeah that's that is great advice so cool. Well, thank you so much, Nikita. We've come to the end of the questions. Oh, no, we haven't. One of the mm -hmm. most important questions of the show <laughs> is um, who do you like, share and follow? Okay. So um, <laughs> again, kind of specific, um, but for media, I follow um, NGEM, which is like the organization we use to stay up to date with everything that's going on. Yeah. Um, and then I follow Mumbrella and Think TV. Um, they're specifically 
um, media related. Um, Mumbrella actually has a podcast and every week they go through the ratings of the week, our new shows versus like Seven's new shows. And they kind of discuss like how each channel and everything's like rating and how we're going along, which is really cool. Yeah. Um, and then I am like, quite, I believe that like our mental health is like really important in sure, this industry. Um, so I actually follow a lady called Shay um, at honu.haven um, and she's a somatic oh. healer for like nervous system. And so yeah. yeah, I just think it keeps you mentally strong, helps you understand like your body's cues and what's going on. And yeah, it really is really helpful. Excellent. So yeah, maybe you can even tag some of those accounts in um, yeah. the comments so other people can follow too. Yeah, definitely. That would be great. And do you have any final words of wisdom to share before we wrap up? Words of wisdom? <laughs> um, I mean, honestly, I would just say I know it sounds scary, but you just need to be open to putting yourself out there. You also need to be open to receiving because I wasn't even looking for a job and it just – came up but to be fair that was because I was putting myself out before but you just need to be able to like you need to be when these opportunities come up at uni to work with we used to do a lot of like work for real clients get in on that also talk to them about other stuff because that is another way of how I got freelance work from there once you work with them they are really open to taking on like a lot of the work from you um which I love and yeah, I would say just try to really build the relationships. Even at uni, there's so many people at uni, like Karen, like there's so many people that you can talk to and build a relationship with and they can really help you. So yeah, yeah. final piece of advice. Thank you so much. And we had, we've had we had someone comment. So it was um, Sway Bin Musa who said, hello, thanks for the show. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. So thank you so much, everyone, for watching. And um, we'll be back soon. Um, so if you studied social media at USC and have graduated. We would love to have you on like, share, follow. So please uh, get in contact with me and we'll have you on the show. So thank you so much, Nikita, and um, have a great day and congratulations on all your success. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah.